Welcome back. We saw earlier how we can play with the data using different types of transforms with pipe and pipeline. In this chapter, I will show you how to save the data that we played with, modified and even filtered to a different file formats and a database as well. For this tutorial, I will choose to write or an ND JSON file. So for that, I will create a new transform that will help me to convert the objects that I have to JSON formats, right? I will need object mode as well. In my transform, I will be receiving the user, encoding and callback as well. Don't forget to send the data in my filter because like the my filter now is no longer the last transform that I have in my pipeline. And I will convert the object that I have into a string, into a valid JSON with an end of line. And I will call the callback with this value, right? And that's because write and read stream from files, they don't know anything about object mode. So we say we need to send them either um, a buffer or a string. So I'm creating this, um, this transform to change the, the object to a string. Okay, um, this is a mistake. Uh, it's CB instead of callback, right? Nice, the stream ended. Okay, so this is in the in the JSON and how it looks like. It's simply a JSON file separated by an end of line, right? So here I'm showing you that we are we are reading from a CSV and writing to an in the JSON which is for us amazing. You can choose to write on a format that you like. Uh, it could be an XML, it could be any type of format. Uh, so I'm reading from import and writing on an export using create read stream. I will experiment one thing. I will be sending the user uh, as object to the create write stream. And here is what, what's gonna happen. So it's simply as tell on me that I, that I need to send either a string or a buffer. So this is why I've created convert to in the JSON to convert the stream to a string. I will change the this to in the JSON so it's gonna be uh, more clear. Right. So this is nice. So now I'm creating in the JSON from a CSV with applying some of the transforms that we have that we have seen earlier. Right. So this is in the JSON. And this is my pipeline and how it looks like. So now instead of saving the file just like it is, I will use a Zlib uh, library, which is a built-in library in Node.js, and I will be saving on a file called gz. Um, basically, the browser cannot read uh, jz uh, content, so I'll open it on Windows so I can decompress it, right? So this is our GZ file and inside it, the export, the export.indjson file. So this is great. So basically one single line to add compression to our stream, no stress, easy and fast, right? And you have access to other algorithms just like broadly GANZIP and Inflate as well, right? Now I'll try to write on a DB.
I will install Mongoose to do so. I will create a model. I will call Mongoose from Mongoose and I will create my schema. Mongoose.schema and the schema I will need a name that's going to be a string and an email as well it's going to be a string as well the age as number and salary as number as well number right salary should be a number as well and is active as boolean i will correct that is active as a a boolean right and i will add the timestamp i will be i won't use it for the moment it's just a habit that i have uh, model.export and i will export back the model so mongoose.model and users and i will give it the schema user model i will change that to user schema it's way better right so this is good before i can use my model i need to connect with the database and for that i will call mongoose from mongoose And I will connect to the database. Right. I will go here and connect with the database. Right. I don't remember that part. So I'll simply Google it. Right. Here it is. And I will import my user model from user.js right i will create a new transform i will call it save user i will need object mode as usual the chunk the encoding and a callback and inside it i will transform that first to an asynchronous task and i will call await my model dot create user i will change chunk by user it's, it's, it's way better yep so this is fine and i will call my callback my callback i will say there is no error and i will make sure that i'm not sending any data in my last transform right i will double check my filter i am sending data so this is beautiful right let's try that out yeah one thing about the database i gave you a docker compose To run it, just type docker compose up minus d. It will help you to run the docker compose underground. To take it down, just type docker down. I will double, I will make sure that I uh, that my database is running. Docker ps nice. Here is my database, and here is my user. That's nice. Right, it's an empty collection for the moment. forgot something yeah it's callback again it's cb instead of callback right let's try it one more time all right this must be this must be fine now stream ended i will double check my database find this is also say Maximilian 33, right? 
This is good. This is good. This is good. Well, this is awesome. This is awesome. This is up and running. This is working great. I have 5,000. Uh, just that's because of my filter. Well, you remember, we are filtering some uh, some users that aren't active. Uh, we can remove that to check if I am sending the 10,000 user. I will remove everything and start from scratch. Right. I will, and I will run my script once again. Uh, I will remove that. We don't use it anymore. Good. Um, good to go. Yeah. Node index. Okay. And let's count. Okay. 3,000. 4,000. 5,000. 6,000. 7,000. 8,000. Yeah. This is, this is going to be great. 10,000 yeah yeah so this is great so i am reading from a file the stream ended and i'm saving to a database which is great so this is it folks we saw how we can use streams to either read or write from files we used compression we absolutely can use encryption as well i'll show you how to write on a database we absolutely can read from a database and then write to a file well um, i hope you like it please keep watching i have a tutorial about uh, performance tuning of this uh, of this application